You saw in the previous step the creation of the axis system. Now that the axis system has been created, it is in place, I can begin creating 3D external references that I can use for downstream associations to. Here I'm going to create several planes. I'm going to double click on the plane function, which will allow me to use the plane function over and over again. I will offset several planes. Go one inch. Offset another plane up. This time we'll go two inches. And this time you'll notice I'll select that second plane as my offset. Three and two. Select cancel. Now that I have my plane set up, I'm going to go ahead and create my initial sketch. The type of sketch I want to use is a position sketch. What the position sketch will do is it will associate itself to the origin of the axis system that I select. So if I move my axis system, the origin will stay bound to the current axis system. Select OK. Now I begin drawing in the shape that I need. This shape is pretty straightforward. I'm going to go in and draw my profile. Select my initial profile. Come up. Drawing along. Now constrain this profile to my external references. First curve, plane at the end, say coincidence, plane at the top, say coincidence. When I drew my initial sketch, I drew it in such a way where the first and last lines were automatically constrained. Exit out. Create my pad. In this case I'll say mirrored extent and I will go out one inch, which in turn will make this a total of two inches wide. Now that I have my initial pad in place, I'll do the same thing. This time I'm going to create a pocket. Position my sketch same plane, select OK. This time I'll use a rectangle, constrain it. This time this curve and plane will be coincident. This upper plane and this upper line, I'll make the upper line a little bit longer. So when I do my pocket, I can assure that the pocket will remove the material. It won't stop flush at this top edge. I'll do the same thing with this plane to this line. Coincidence. And once again, as I'm making a pocket, I want to make sure that this is longer than that face. Exit out. I'll make my pocket. And now in this case, I'm going to say up to last and up to last in the other direction. Select OK. Now there's my pocket. What this allows me to do now is if I go in and move this plane, you'll notice that this pocket will always be a little larger than the actual solid I'm removing from because of the way it's constrained. Also, if I move this plane, you'll notice that the relationship between the outside plane remains constant to the plane that I'm moving. Select OK. And then once again, if I move this top plane, I will have the same result. Part of the modeling superplasticity is if I take my compass now and I drag it and drop it onto this axis system. And I want to move this part along this axis system. You'll notice that I have total and complete freedom. Because everything that I have created 
is linked to that axis system. 